Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, how nice it is to be here. I'm just trying to create uh, some uh, content from for my uh, YouTube channel because I uh, started a YouTube channel and uh, because I'm traveling so much, you know, I have decided to document everything, put it on YouTube, you know, and sort of put myself on display in a way. <laughs> but um, I wanted to share this, some of my daily routine with you. Uh, I was, I tried to do it this morning and I just didn't work because the lighting, although I have a big window here, I was not getting enough lighting. So uh, I decided, well, let me do this this evening. Uh, I went out today, had a good walk. And uh, usually in the morning times I get up and I do my Tai Chi, Qigong. And uh, then I do, you know, this breathing exercise and all this. And then I go for a walk. Uh, and then I try not, these days I try not to go in the um, metro and stuff where there's people, a lot of people. Even though they have lifted the uh, the curfew, if you want to call it uh, that, uh, I'm still a little skeptical about this whole thing. You know, I'm still a little scared about you know uh, getting too close to people and stuff because it's this thing is still spreading. There's no you know. Some people don't even want to talk about it on the YouTube channel because they say YouTube will take it down. <laughs> so let's not get in much into that. Uh, let me just explain you a little bit about the Tai Chi thing, Chi Kong. This is something I've been, uh, let me see, I have like, uh, what, uh, two years since I've been in Europe uh, the last time. Uh, I've been to Last time I've been, I visited my son in Bulgaria, and he he asked me. He said, "Daddy, you you just practice. Uh, you know anything about Tai Chi or Qigong?" I said, "Wow." He said, "I think I've heard something, you know, about that, but I never practice it. I've seen the uh, exhibitions on uh, on the like YouTube channel and." Uh, on the internet, but I never really practice it. So he was showing me something, and and I I got a little customer doing that there, and I continued to do it, and I found found out that it has helped me, you know, health wise. It it has been uh, something that I would want to continue doing because I've noticed that. Uh, the difference in my after I do it, how I feel and all that. So I decided to just uh, take it up as a common practice and uh, in, to include it, you know, in my routine, daily routine. And this has been a very good decision, I think, that I made because uh, I'm happy with it, you know, with the results. Uh, this Qigong thing, Tai Chi and Qigong is uh, actually, Qigong is a form of Tai Chi. Uh, tai Chi is, um, has to do with uh, the way you think, uh, the way you feel, the way you love, you know, and uh, it's uh, about movement um, and uh, it helps the mind, uh, relaxation. Uh, I think uh, people who do like yoga and things for the stuff, yoga or whatever they call it, that's what I'm saying, yoga, <laughs> yoga. And they do that, uh, it's like a mental thing, you know, mental you help your mind and everything so uh, it's similar 
you know, <laughs> similar to that. But uh, whereas in, uh, I think uh, there are more meditation in yoga. But uh, the difference between Tai Chi and Qi Kong, it's that uh, the Tai Chi, uh, it's more, if you're using it like for a martial arts or something, uh, because of the, the movements and stuff and it's a standing type of thing, you know, it, it, it's, uh, it's more of a, the, 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 actually the, the Qigong form is a more simpler, you know, it, it, anybody can do it, the, the, the Qigong form, because the Qigong form, uh, even somebody who has disabilities and stuff can use it, uh, because uh, you can use it laying down, you can do it uh, sitting down, you can do it standing up, whereas uh, the Tai Chi is a more like a standing, in a more martial art type of thing. Um, but it's all about movements, you know. Um, and uh, you can, you know, get the energy. Give, you can get energy from it. Uh, it actually, it, it produces energy uh, to flow, you know. It helps the energy to flow. Uh, Helps you with your muscles, uh, brings out uh, the um, the energy that you have inside, you know, and, and, and it it's sort of uh, converts that in, into to, to uh, whatever uh, you may be looking for, you know. Um, but uh, I'm not. An expert in it, but uh, I like the results that I'm getting from it. Uh, so the little that I have, I know, uh, I don't mind sharing it. <laughs> That's why I'm here uh, talking about it because uh, I find it to be uh, something very um, necessary. You know, for especially for people at my age, you know, uh, where I don't want to do any stringent uh, type of uh, exercise. Uh, when I walk, I try to do like brisk walk, and I don't really run and jog and be like that. I I try to make it, you know, and that's because of my age. You know, um, when you get a certain age, you have to use. Uh, different exercises that you can do for your age and uh, because it's not good to over exercise you know uh, so wow time going so fast so um, that's a little something about this Tai Chi thing so that's let me give you a little ex exhibition a little example see here oh, yeah. first you have to we stand Bend your knee a little bit. Push your, your hip out a little bit like this. And you, uh, you swing. It's called knocking on the door of life. As you swing, you just hit the back of your uh, waist, you know, center your back. And come up and you go 
Should I stay here? Remember when you're doing this, you take breaths and huh? like inhale, hold your breath for a while, then you exhale. You know, go all the way up to your shoulder. Hold your breath. You can count to maybe 20 or something, then you exhale. So simple, simple, simple thing, but it's very um, rewarding in the end. Stand up straight, reach your knee buckle a little bit, but relax. And then you can go up and come down. Your knees buckle, go all the way down. Come up. Stand still, relax, and come a little closer. Relax. You want to feel it here, I can feel it here in my, uh, something tingling in my arms. Go to your back. Remember your kidneys are right there. Wake up your kidneys. This is very good for the morning time, you know. Give you the energy. I'll show you like this. your chest. When you knock your chest, you can uh, take a deep breath, come to maybe 20 or 30 and then exhale. relax 
relax your whole body, relax your arms, fold the ball to your side, shake it up a little bit, shake your whole body, shake your whole body like this, you can feel the chi, you can feel it man. So this is the, the Qigong farm. Like I told you, the Qigong is a farm of Tai Chi. And this is Qigong. Anybody can do it. Even if you are handicapped or you have a particular injury or something, you can, there's different farms, different ways you can uh, use it. Shake out. Let your whole body come. I see my energy, man. Energy is there. Just relax. And when you relax like this, you're going to feel the chi in your hands, man. Right on your arms, you're going to find right on to your, uh, your finger points. You're going to find, you're going to, it's going to feel, you can feel the chi. Flowing, you know, you can feel it. You can feel it, man. You can feel it. Oh, yeah. Then you're gonna think, do your arms like this, come up, go up, come down. Take a, take a deep breath, man. She floats through your body, you know. Stretch it way back. Bring it back. Do the same on the other side. Bring it back. Center, bring it down, bring the other hand up, and a deep breath, remember. Bring your hands to your side. Relax. Shake it out. You know. What I usually do is uh, when I'm, you know, at this point, I do some stretches. I would go like this. Make sure you take a deep breath when you are uh, in the 
exhale and when you're going to do this so you can do that about three four times you know and after you get that then you always can go in there's one called the um, for your spine it works well for your spine which you go back like this So, uh, let me see another one that I do in the morning as well. As, um, I usually, I can't show you because the camera needs to be down my foot, but I take my, you can take your left or your right, just I'll do it from my left. Take your hand above your head and you go down, right? And make sure your hand's going to touch the tip of your toes. So you go down, take a deep breath, Very good one for for stretching for uh, 